everyone, it's Fantasia. So today we're gonna talk about the state of The Sims 4. I just feel like I need to talk about it. It's it's kind of, at this point, really frustrating. So I don't want this to be like a super negative rant video. I'm never really a negative person on my channel. However, when the game is this bad, I do feel like it's important to like talk about it and speak up about it and just like, you know, share your experiences. Other people in the comments can let me know like the things they're experiencing in their game. And then I feel like if by chance the Sim gurus see this, you know, maybe we'll actually get these things fixed. I think there is a fix coming, but a lot of times when an update comes, a lot of bugs are not actually fixed. Some things get fixed, but then we get new bugs. So I don't know. I just really wanted to talk about this today. It's to the point where I try recording sometimes and then I have to keep restarting the video because I just keep having issues. And even with no mods, even if I don't have my mods folder in my game, like completely taken out mods and CC. Of course, mods can add to your problems, but I know for a fact that the issues are happening even without it. So first, before we get into everything, let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Farah. Thank you so much. You're so so sweet. I do get that comment a lot, but I'm telling you guys, no matter how many times I get that comment, it makes me smile every time. And that's not me being dramatic because I was so insecure about my voice for so long and I still struggle with it sometimes. So you guys are so freaking sweet. Thank you so much for your comment, Farah. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shadow, all you gotta do is comment down below. So the issues I've been having in my game so far, I could get more. I don't know. I've been having random lag spikes, which my game never lags. So I don't know what's going on there. The only time I've ever had lag is like when I go into build mode it'll lag for a second you got to click the three dots can we also talk about how that has been in the game for so long and it's still not fixed and on sims official live streams the sim gurus have dealt with that happening where they have to click the three dots to stop the lag so it's even happening to the sim gurus themselves so i don't know why that hasn't been fixed yet it's really weird because it seems like everyone has that issue so it's just weird i don't know maybe they don't know how to fix it but i feel like at this point there should be a fix that's not a new thing though that's been around for a little while it's annoying but at least it's very it, it's very easily fixable i guess you click the three dots you're good to go but i swear to god that's been happening for like a year or something but besides that new things i've been experiencing is like random lag spikes like i said when i'm not going into build mode or even when i enter create a sim it's really weird because create a sim is something that's usually the smoothest and i noticed when i was making a sim the other day i was having like i can't explain it not exactly lag but just like slow. My computer is not having trouble keeping up. So like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. It's really weird. So comment down below if you've been experiencing create a slowness slash lag. It's different than game lag. It's just, I don't know, like I'll click something and it just seems like it like takes longer to go to it or something. I can't explain it, but you, if you're having that problem, you probably know what I mean. The next thing I'm having is things disappearing in my Sims houses, like out of nowhere. At first I thought it was only when I went into create a Sim. And actually at first I thought it was my fault when I was like furnishing things, but no, doors are just disappearing out of nowhere. At first I thought it was just a doors issue when I would like furnish rooms and stuff, all of a sudden the door's gone. But no, then I realized it's even happening when I'm in live mode. All of a sudden a door is just gone. And then it's even other items too. Like the shower. In one of my recent videos, I was editing it back and I was like, wait, that was weird. I did notice the shower disappeared like while recording it as well. But then watching it back, I actually noticed when it first disappeared and I was like, okay, that was weird. Like I, the, the shower was there and then I put the walls up and then the shower vanished like out of nowhere. I didn't even go near the bathroom. I've been dealing with that. Another thing is auto lights not working. So sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I noticed that I have to keep on doing it. Does anyone else have that? That's like a more new issue for me. But one of my friends did say her auto lights weren't working as well. So I don't know if that's a new glitch, a new bug. I'm not sure, but it's like, I have to kind of like reset it. Like I have to turn all the lights on and then do auto lights. And then sometimes one room will still not do auto lights. And then I have to go and like specifically do it for that room. And it's just so weird to me. I've never had that before. Okay. So another big one for me, this is very frustrating is the time jumping backwards. So whenever I enter create a sim and stuff, the time just jumps back. And I did get a few comments that said, this is also happen happening to them. And it's like a new bug. Basically, for example, my sim will get out of work, let's say 2 PM. And then let's say I go into create a sim to do a little makeover. And then I leave create a sim. All of a sudden it's like 10 AM again. And and then it glitches out your Sims because then my Sim had a little, like he was grayed out as if he was still at work, but he wasn't. That was annoying. So that's been happening to me. Another thing is the never ending loading screen. 
Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't even believe I'm having all these problems because usually I'll just get like one or two or I won't get any of them. And now it's like so many. I promise I understand your frustration. Like, I mean, I've always understood frustration when your game's not working, but now I understand it to another level. All the people who always deal with all these issues. Literally, sometimes I'll even try to go travel and then I'm just stuck on this never ending loading screen. And then it's like, well, hello, I can't even save my progress. I'll even try to do Alt F4 on my keyboard. Nothing comes up. Like I can't do anything. So then I'm just forced to close it down. Actually, that happened in the last episode of, of my Happily Ever After Let's Play. I literally had to play through the whole episode again off camera and like make everything happen again. The episode was just too good for me to refilm it all and have like fake reactions. So I was like, you know what? I was going to wrap this up soon anyway, so I'm just going to wrap it up right here. <laughs> That's what I did. But that was really inconvenient. Another thing I've only had a couple times is the saving problem. So we're where you try to save your game and then it's like saving forever and it never finishes saving. So this is another really scary one. And I'm very grateful that this hasn't been happening to me often. And it hasn't happened so far when trying to save my let's plays because not being able to save after you record a let's play episode is like literal hell. But those of you guys who are dealing with that, and especially those of you guys who do like legacy families and you know, all this stuff, like you're doing generation after generation, like you just play this game like crazy. It's like the only only game you play and you'll play for like eight hours at a time. I am so sorry if you can't save your game. So I think this is the last issue I'm having. If I think of anything else, I'll add it in the end here. But another thing I'm having is Sims just constantly resetting. So I've always had this issue. Like I think most people have sometimes your Sim just resets or like spawns somewhere randomly super weird. But now it's a very excessive. I've never had it this much before. Like my Sims just want to constantly reset. It, it, literally, they could just be sitting having dinner and then all of a sudden they're resetting. So frequently. And that's really frustrating because then you have to cue them back up, whatever they were doing. Those are the issues I've been having. Things that have been fixed for me is the aging up glitch. That's been fixed. That was like the high school years bug. Another thing that seems to be fixed for me is the whole like game freezing when you try to like pull up a menu. For example, let's say you try to go on the phone and get your sim a gift. For example, you know, you can buy Sims gifts on the phone. When the little menu would pop up, my game would just literally never ending load. That stopped happening. That hasn't happened to me. I still get nervous though every single time I do something where a menu is going to pop up. I always like want to go and save first. Yeah, thank God that seems to be fixed. But if some of you guys are still dealing with that, definitely comment down below. Comment down below if you're having these issues, if you're on console, if you don't use any mods in CC. Like I said, I have tried taking out my entire mods folder, which is including CC too. Still run into these issues. So it's definitely a problem with the game. That's the issues that I've been having and I wanted to talk about them with you guys so you guys can leave your feedback down below. This game needs to be fixed. Like I cannot guys. I want to record all my let's plays for you guys. I've been recording a lot of Runaway Teen Pregnancy because it's smooth. It doesn't cause me any issues. I haven't had any problems. My Happily Ever After let's play, I'm having the issue where every time I try to travel, it's just never any loading screen. So then I'm scared because I'm worried that I'm going to like record an episode and then go travel without saving by accident. It's also frustrating like to have to shut down your game and then like resume the video like I don't know it just throws off the whole mood because then you get frustrated my modded family has had like a couple issues but I think we're good that will be resuming it's just I'm furnishing their new house and it's like four houses on one lot so it's taking me forever <laughs> to furnish them all so just yeah that's why that's basically it and if you guys are having any other issues definitely just list them all down below and hopefully this gets fixed soon let's cross our fingers I don't know it just worries me it seems like this game gets more and more glitchy the more packs that come out, the more updates that come out. I have a really strong feeling this game will be left broken and they'll move on to the next one. That's what happened with The Sims 3. And it sucks because it seems like The Sims 4 is even in a worse state than The Sims 3 was by the end of it. When a game has so much DLC and so many updates, you know, there's bound to be glitches. Like I completely understand that. But what sucks is that, you know, it seems like we're coming to the end of like The Sims for timeline. I mean, there still could be even a couple years, but still towards the end, as in like, it's already been going on for years and years and years. I definitely feel like we're towards the end, at least, even if it is still one to two years. But yeah, I just think it's a bad sign if 
we're getting more and more glitches, more and more issues, more and more bugs. Yeah, that's just not good. It makes me nervous. You know, when this game is complete, I want to be able to continue playing it. I don't want it to just be unplayable, you know? That would suck because, you know, when The Sims 4 is done, all the packs are out, all the updates are out. How nice would it be to never have to update our mods again and just be able to play? But then if they leave it broken, we won't even be able to do that. So anyways, you guys, I'm rambling on. <laughs> I guess that was the point of this video to just like ramble. Definitely speak out if you're having problems because that's how these problems will get fixed. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Then